Hi, my name is Shannon Costello and I'm a registered dietitian with Corporate Fitness Works. Today we're in my home kitchen and we're going to make a English muffin breakfast sandwich. The best way to start your day is with a well-balanced breakfast that contains protein, fiber, and a variety of nutrients. This combination will help keep you full while giving you energy to not only start the day, but also energy that doesn't spike and cause you to crash soon after. So this sandwich uses a whole grain English muffin, which is a type of complex carbohydrate source. You can also use a whole grain sandwich thin, which is really popular in most grocery stores these days. Complex carbohydrates contain fiber, which is necessary for optimal digestive and immune health. And it's recommended to eat at least half your daily grains as whole grains from sources like brown rice, quinoa, whole wheat breads and pastas, or oats and oatmeal. So start by toasting your English muffin in a toaster for the sandwich. Now the middle of our sandwich will use whole eggs for quality protein, a little bit of fat, and some great nutrients which hide in the yolk of your eggs. Now you have the option of also adding some low fat shredded cheese such as ch cheddar, and this is great for additional flavor. We'll add a layer of fresh spinach so you can get your iron and vitamins A, C, and K. Now most Americans don't eat enough dark leafy greens, so this is a great way to sneak in a serving into your day with breakfast. Some sliced tomatoes for a dose of vitamin C. You can also use fresh salsa instead of tomatoes if you have that on hand. Then we have some avocado that will mash onto our toast to provide healthy unsaturated fats along with fiber and potassium. So while the English muffin is toasting, go ahead and heat a medium saute pan over medium low heat and add about a tablespoon of water. Once it's hot, we'll add the spinach and allow it about two to four minutes to wilt while occasionally stirring. Once the spinach is wilted, like Popeye spinach, just set it aside on your serving plate and then dump out any excess water that's left in your saute pan. Return the pan to the medium low heat so that we can cook the eggs. If your pan is not a nonstick pan, then you'll wanna add a little bit of cooking spray before this next step. But go ahead and crack your eggs into a separate bowl and scramble those up until the yolks are all broken up. And then you're just gonna add this to your same pan and we'll cover it with a lid and let these start cooking for about one to two minutes. You'll see the whites actually turn white and the tops will bubble just slightly. Okay, so you can see here that the eggs are about halfway done. The whites are white, it's a little bubbly. If you take your spatula, the edges come up clean. So we'll go ahead and add our shredded cheese. And this will be some good flavor. And then whatever seasonings you like, I'm just gonna keep it simple with a little bit of salt and pepper. A tip on cooking your eggs, you don't wanna add your salt too early on in the cooking process because it can delay the eggs from cooking fully. So we'll go ahead and cover this again for like 30 seconds to a minute just until the cheese is wilted. When the eggs look firm like a patty, you can turn off the heat and just fold the eggs into either thirds or quarters. So it's about the size of your English muffin. So it should just fold up like that. And then to assemble the sandwich, add your mashed avocado to each side of your English muffin and then arrange the spinach, egg and tomatoes, however you wish. I like to put the spinach on the bottom half and then I'll put the egg right on top of that and then the tomato and top it off with the other half breakfast and sandwich great for starting your day you can also make multiples of these at one time and save them just let them cool off completely and wrap them up in some plastic wrap they'll last for about three to four days in the refrigerator enjoy